Hi, this is Corey Morris with Aarhus University, and we're here in wonderful Copenhagen. This is MEC, and we've been invited inside by one of our alumni to learn a little bit more about what he does and where he works. Let's take a closer look inside. Thomas Byholm, thanks so much for inviting us into your humble abode. You're so welcome. Thomas, tell us a little bit more about yourself. Yeah. My name is Thomas Byholm. Uh, I'm 34 years old. I have a master degree in corporate communication. Graduated in 2007 from Aarhus School of Business. And for the last five, six years, I've been working with media and marketing, especially with sponsorship and events. Uh, and today I work as a client director at MEC Access. Okay. MEC. Yeah. It's quite new to me. Yeah. What is MEC? Yes. MEC is a media agency, uh, one of the leading agencies in, in Denmark. And again, MEC is a part of a global media agency network, uh, MEC Global, uh, where we have around 4,000 colleagues in more than 80 countries, different countries. How many work here at the, uh, the office in Copenhagen? Approximately 100, and at MEC Access, we are approximately 30. And what's it like to work at uh, MEC? It's great, first of all. Yeah. Uh, it's great to work in the media agency, um, especially because it's a young environment. It's an industry moving forward, always moving forward. Every day we will meet a new media or consumer trend, which we have to understand mm. and use in our work with our clients. If we look at the culture of MEC, can you yeah. use, let's just say, three words to describe the culture here? Yeah, it's, it's, MEC has a strong focus on, on people, uh, on how to develop not only the organization, but they know before developing the organization, you have to develop the individual, mm. the team. So there's, there's a strong focus on, on, on people and, okay. and how to develop people. You're a client director yeah. at MEC Access. Yeah. What does that entail? What do you do as, as a client director? We are working with what is called below the line activities okay. in, in marketing, which is traditionally face-to-face -face communication, it's sponsorships, it's events, it's guerrilla marketing, ambush marketing, just to give you a few examples. Right. Let's look at an average day, yeah. Thomas Byholm's average day here yeah. at MEC. Let's just take yeah. a Monday. Yeah, we have a team meeting every Monday from 9 to 9.30, just to, to get a good start of, of the week. Okay. Um, I want to, to know from my team what clients are they working on, this week, uh, do they have any resources? Uh, do they have any issues or something we should should talk about okay. before starting the week? Afterwards, we we are all together, the four units, and my boss Casper is going through almost the same things. Okay. What are we going to do this week? And then so lots of planning, lots of planning, uh, just to get the framework. Right. before having another busy week. Right. Um, and after 10 o'clock, it's uh, another busy, interesting day, uh, working with my team, uh, trying to motivate them, trying to, to give them feedback, professional feedback on their assignments, mm. and of course, working with my clients. If I can walk home at the end of the day with a motivated team, and we have done something good for our clients, working professionally with our assignments, mm. then uh, I'm a happy man. Let's talk, about, uh, let's talk about the path that you took to get the current job. Yeah. You, you graduated from yeah. ASB and you now yeah. you're here at NBC as a, as a client director. Yeah. Talk to us about that pathway. Yeah. Actually, my, my first job in the industry, I started in, in June 2007 uh, at a competitor. Okay. Uh, I started out as a management trainee for the CEO of, of that company. And in four years, I've made four steps okay. from uh, management trainee to project manager 
to consultant mm. and today client director. So Thomas, yeah. how did you land this job? Yeah, it's, it's a funny, funny story. I make presentations at conferences, uh, industry seminars. And actually I met my boss, Casper, mm -hmm. uh, who is my boss today, yeah. at an industry seminar where I uh, had a, a presentation. And after the presentation, he, he called me and asked me if I was interested in, in knowing something more about MEC access. Uh, how did you deal with the transition coming from, uh, well, let's just say Jutland together, yeah. both in terms of where you're from originally yeah. and your, your education at yeah. ASB. How did you deal with that transition to over here to, to Copenhagen? Yeah, actually it was pretty easy, uh, mostly because I think 90% of my social and academic network moved to Copenhagen within these years as well. Okay. Um, so actually I just moved my, my network from Aarhus to Copenhagen. Uh, and I think we all needed uh, a new challenge. We have been studying f for five, six years in Aarhus, which we loved. We loved the city, we loved ASB. Uh, but we needed a new challenge, a new city. And especially uh, for me, working in the media and marketing industry, there were so many opportunities in, in Copenhagen. You said you had a big network of friends yeah. that moved over here. Yeah. Um, how have you used that network since you got over here? While I was writing on my master thesis, uh, I started a network. Uh, it was at the beginning a social network, but it has also developed. So today uh, we have a network living in Jutland, living in Copenhagen, uh, 30 people uh, where we offer each other jobs, we give each other feedback, uh, we have meetings where we discuss business issues. Um, just to give you one example, yeah. a month ago uh, 10 of us met here in, in Copenhagen talking about the transition from employee to leader, yeah. which is a subject that is interesting for, for many of us. So, so we have this strong network and, and we use it uh, in a social perspective and in a business perspective. What, what does it mean to you, Thomas, to be an alum from, from ASB? Yeah, they have prepared me through the exchange uh, programs. Uh, they have prepared me through uh, the support of the student union. And of course, they have prepared me through the education. Uh, the, the good teachers. Um, so it, it means something for me that it's a quality university, that it's respected also outside Denmark, that is one of the top 100 universities. Uh, so of course I'm, I'm proud to be a, an alumni from, from that university. Right. Uh, it's not something I think of every day, but when you ask me, uh, I'm, I'm proud and, and I used all the tools they gave me uh, during my student period in my everyday life. Well, we're proud that you're proud. <laughs> um, knowing what you know now, is there any advice that you would offer to current students or maybe even prospective students uh, back, at, yeah. back at the school? Yeah, um, I look at it this way. Uh, we're all different and we all have our different ways of, of doing things. Um, what I would say is um, take all challenges that you are given during your uh, study period. Uh, say yes to all exchange programs you are offered. Say yes to all student jobs, relevant and interesting student jobs that you are offered. And never forget that the um, hard work and, uh, and a, a good drive uh, is not to, uh, to beat. Wonderful. Yeah. Thomas Byerholm, thanks so much for having this conversation with us, inviting us into your, uh, your office, and uh, best of luck to you in the future. Thank you for visiting us. Yeah, wonderful. Uh, again, this is Corey Morris, Lawhus University. You've heard Thomas Byerholm's story about MEC uh, here in Copenhagen. Uh, hope you enjoyed it, and I uh, hope you join us next time. Till then.